French President Emmanuel Macron on Thursday unveiled his proposals to boost the economy, fight inequality and improve France's reactions to the global crisis if he wins a second term in next month's elections. During his campaign, Macron also addressed the war in Ukraine. He told journalists he thought Russian President Vladimir Putin's decision to attack his neighbor would leave traces for decades as Russian people do not want the war. Macron also emphasized the need for the EU and Europe at large to rebuild a new European security order and recalibrate NATO. Mm -hmm. Even though he formally announced he is running for a second term at the beginning of the month, Macron has not held any rallies just yet. Et c'est là où je pense que Vladimir Poutine prend une responsabilité funeste, y compris pour son pays et son peuple. Je lui ai dit, je l'aurai très prochainement en ligne, et je lui redirai, parce que c'est un peuple frère. Parce que ce qu'ils sont en train de faire à un peuple frère, pour certains d'ailleurs, des femmes et des hommes qui défendent la culture russe, qui, qui partagent leur langue, leur religion, leurs souvenirs, laissera des traces pour des décennies. Et je sais qu'intimement, le peuple russe ne veut pas cela. Il est simplement sous le joug de beaucoup de répression et d'une immense désinformation. La guerre lancée par le président Poutine amène une clarification et crée une menace à nos frontières et sur le sol européen inédite qui, de toute façon, redonne, si je puis dire, une clarification stratégique à l'OTAN en la ramenant aux conflictualités de ses origines. Pour autant, je continue à penser de manière constante que nous avons besoin de rebâtir un ordre européen de sécurité et que la guerre aujourd'hui en Ukraine le rend encore plus indispensable. The UN Security Council approved the Norwegian drafted resolution. It was adopted by a vote of 14-0 with Russia abstaining. The resolution will revive the worst condition in Afghanistan and will work with the Taliban. The UN Security Council's Norwegian drafted resolution will authorize it to promote gender equality, the empowerment of women and girls, human rights of all Afghans, and an inclusive and representative government. Norway's UN Ambassador Mona Juul says the Security Council sent a clear message that the UN mission, known as UNAMA, has a crucial role to play in promoting peace and stability in Afghanistan and also supporting Afghan people as they face unprecedented challenges and uncertainty. The Security Council also expressed deep concerns at the dire economic and humanitarian situation in Afghanistan, and the resolution extends UNAMA's role in coordinating the delivery of desperately needed aid. The resolution sends a clear message that this Council stands firmly behind the UN's continued support to the Afghan people as they face unprecedented challenges and uncertainty. The resolution ensures that UNAMA has a strong and robust mandate for promote inclusive political dialogue, monitor and report on human rights, and continue to facilitate humanitarian and basic human needs assistance. And to engage with all Afghan actors, and that includes the Taliban, on all these issues.